In this video, we're gonna be using Bailey's Irish Coffee, which is returning after seven years, and we're gonna use the PAA Ascension Twist Copper. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today for this special edition video, because today, Bailey's Irish Coffee returns after a seven-year hiatus. And for those of you who don't know, Originally, this soap was called Irish Cream. At the time, the company was called How to Grow a Mustache. Today, it's called Phoenix Shaving. And this one, of course, has never been uh, open. And that is my face right there. Right there is my eyeball. Right there is my lips. And uh, I, I would always drink Irish coffee or often drink Irish coffee in the videos. And uh, PAA came out with the soap. Irish cream, which I really appreciated. Thank you, uh, Douglas and Fran, for that. And let's have a little Irish coffee to kick things off. Uh, cheers to you all. Okay, anyway, this soap was a special edition uh, from back in 2014. And this year, PAA brought it back. They changed the name a little bit to Bailey's Irish Coffee. Let's set that aside. And we're back. Now this soap is called Bailey's Irish Coffee and it will be available at PAA for the month of March. So if you want to get it, get it this month before the month ends. Uh, Douglas, I think does special edition soaps right. He makes plenty of stock. He gives you plenty of time to get it. So if you want this one, get it before the end of March. And let's show you the notes on this. And to me, what I get is you get a, a little bit of that vanilla. Uh, you definitely get some of the cream maybe some slight coffee, but it's not its not one of those soaps that's a really strong coffee scent. To me, it's a little on the sweeter side, a gourmand type scent. You get a little bit of the butterscotch. I would call the scent strength a little under medium uh, off the puck. And we're gonna be using this today and hopefully enjoying it very, very much. And that is me right there, by the way, on the label. So thank you, Douglas and Fran. By the way, they sent this to me for free, I always like to mention those things, so you can take that into consideration if you wish. The razor for, to, for today is the PAA Ascension Twist, and we're using a feather blade, and the the way this works is if you loosen it up a little, it sort of increases the aggression, but if you tighten it all the way down, it's sort of at its minimal uh, setting in terms of aggression. It is a double open comb design. This one is copper. And I'm going to loose it just a little bit, about a, maybe a quarter turn there to get started today. Let's get started with lathering, otherwise we're going to take all day, but that's all right. Today we're just having a relaxing shave, and if it takes a while, it takes a while. 24 hours growth, which is standard. We're just going to mist the face, and we're going to have a little bit of Irish coffee. The recipe for Irish coffee, or at least the one I use, is a shot or two of like Jameson Irish whiskey, Tullamore Dew, whatever you want to use. Uh, a teaspoon of brown sugar, some coffee, and then some whipped or heavy cream, whichever you prefer. It makes a real, really nice beverage, I think. And let's get to lathering. Today we're using the PAA Atomic Rocket Brush. And we changed it up today because we're, we've got a coffee theme going, so we want some warm lather. So we're using the PAA, um, this is the Indestructible Scuttle, which is a little small to lather in, but, I managed to get a, a nice lather in it all the same, and it is warm because you can fill it with uh, water. The only thing I'd like to see is maybe a little larger. If he made one of these a little larger, it would be nice because it's a little difficult to lather in. It's just kind of small, but as you can see, we got plenty of hydration in the lather. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, if you have a really warm scuttle, sometimes that'll uh, your lather can sort of dissipate, so make sure you have plenty of hydration in it but there'll be no problems with the lather today. And this smells good. I know Junior, the dude of shaving, told me once lathered, the scent changed, but for me, it's pretty much staying the same. I'm picking up more of it. To me, mostly you get vanilla and sort of that cream, a little bit of the coffee. It's not coffee strong, and that butterscotch. That's what I'm getting. Again, I call it uh, the scent strength on it under medium. The cost on it, by the way, this is the CK6 formula. $24.95 for five ounces, or on a cost chart there, that is $4.99 per ounce, which is a fair price. And sorry about that, I'm making a mess. The ingredients will show you right there. And PAA makes a, a very good quality vegan soap, as most of you already know. Let's get started today with our feather blade. This is on, uh, this feather blade is on our third and final use. 
I use uh, double edge razor blades three times and out, regardless of how they feel on that third shave, because I don't feel like there's any reason to push a blade personally. But that's just me. You should use your blades in the way you feel works best for you. If you can get more shaves out of them and it's not um, causing any problem, then you know go for it. But for me, I don't see any reason to push the blade. I wanna remind you all that Real Talk is coming up on Instagram this Friday night. So I hope to see you all there. Please uh, comment below with any issues you'd like to see David and I uh, discuss this week. We really appreciate your participation in that. And I also wanna bring up, I got a comment yesterday, but it disappeared. And so I'm not sure if YouTube blew it out or what, but we'll put it on the screen right there for you. And essentially there was a, a gentleman who's new who was uh, uh, making a comment that perhaps I could use a razor with, you know, low aggression and maybe a mild blade to demonstrate how that works. And, and what I would say to you, sir, is the concepts are all the same, regardless of what I'm using. For me, whether I'm using an aggressive blade or, excuse me, an aggressive razor or a very sharp blade or a not so sharp blade, the concepts are all the same. So it would make no difference for me whether I'm using a the Rockwell uh, 6C on plate one or plate six. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. The only difference would be I might have to make a few more strokes, perhaps if it were a little less efficient. But for you, if you're new, the concepts are all the same. So I hope that makes sense to you, sir. I will be doing some how-to stuff down the road, so... Um, for now, go look at the how-to playlist, sir. And there'll be some stuff there that's strictly for beginners. And uh, we, we certainly want to try to teach people along the way as well. And we've done that kind of thing in the past, and we will again. Um, we will again on the channel. So thank you for your comments, sir. I do appreciate it. But just, just know that I'm using the same techniques regardless of the equipment I'm using in terms of aggression of a razor is on. Okay. That was a nice first pass in... Honestly, Junior, the dude of shaving, had me scared because he said this scent on this changed and he got like a more synthetic scent out of it and I'm not. And this warm lather is pretty nice, I gotta say. <laughs> I got plenty of hydration in it because I knew the warm scuttle will sometimes cause that, your hydration to dissipate a little bit. And as you can see, I got plenty of water in this and this smells nice. And so, again, I encourage you to, if you want to, and again, I'm never trying to sell you anything, completely up to you. But if you want to, grab it before the end of the month. I will link all the products below uh, for you. And so check out those links if you want this, something you're interested in. I don't know if he will bring it back annually. So this could be just a sort of one-time revisit. So just keep that in mind. I would say if you want it, now's the time before the end of this month. And there are a lot of good releases coming from PAA. So thank you again, Douglas and Fran. Uh, really, really nice. No problems lathering. I, boy, I tell you what, that warm lather feels good on the face. So this scuttle definitely does its job. And a tip I would give you is fill the, the inner part of it first with warm water uh, and let it set for a while to warm up and then fill the internal part. And uh, it will hold that warmth even better. It's a really nice... First pass there, very, very nice. Very, very smooth. The Ascension Twist Razors, available from uh, PAA, do a really nice job, I think. And again, this one is uh, copper, which is kind of unique. You don't see a ton of copper razors, but I'm digging it. And in pass two, what we try to do is come across the grain here, typically. Sometimes we forget and go against the grain in pass two, but today we're remembering <laughs> On my neck, the grain runs this way and then it kind of swirls. So I'm going three across the grain passes and I try to mention that. And, and I will do some more how-to stuff on beard mapping and all sorts of other things. But right now we're just enjoying an old school shave. We haven't seen this soap for seven years. And so we're just gonna enjoy it. And I am uh, happy with the scent. It is not overpowering. So if you're sensitive to super stout scents, um, nothing to worry about here. This is just a nice mellow, uh, gourmand, 
nice easy going scent and I am liking it either even when lathered and pretty much everybody got it who ordered it in, in those initial orders before me because mine was hung up in the post office even though Douglas sent this out before release uh, mine was hung up and when Junior said you know I didn't like it as much lathered as I did out of the tub I was like oh boy what has changed and as it turns out for me, it smells the same, lathered, not lathered. So sometimes things do change when lathered, so you know you never know what you're gonna get. But I'm liking this, and you know I love Irish coffee. And so again, this is also the mug that I was using back in 2014, and uh, I was doing videos prior to that, and I would often do I would do sofa sessions and so on, and and just sit around and talk about stuff and and. Uh, have a nice Irish coffee. I tell you what, this Atomic Rocket is 26 millimeters, but it feels a lot bigger. Feels like a 30 millimeter, not really. Wow, really nice. And it's still pretty warm, this lather. Um, feeling good, really. So I'm enjoying this. Again, thank you, Douglas and Fran. Really enjoyable to sort of go back and reminisce about the early days. And I'll tell you some folks, I've made many a mistake in this hobby, you know, uh, carrying on, ranting and raving, getting into political stuff. And and now it, it's so nice just to enjoy shaving. You know, sometimes we talk about things on Real Talk that are controversial, but we try to steer clear of, of politics and stuff like that. And we're just giving our opinions and it's never personal. I just want people to know that. Uh, and, and to me, that's the key is to not get personal about things. You give your opinion on, you know, I think, I think it's always fair game to give an opinion about something that I say. Um, you know, if you disagree, voicing your opinion is, is quite okay. But when it gets personal and you're talking about my, my heritage or my, my intellect or the way I look or where I'm from, um, that's, that's personal. And, and that's no go, and nobody should be doing that in the community. Um, tearing down others based on where they're from or what type of you know, culture they come from and so on and so forth. And so, however, when it comes to my opinions, if you disagree, you're, you're certainly, you have every right to voice your opinions and, uh, and so on and so forth. As long as it's in a civil manner, it is good with me. But the minute you get personal, I'm out. You know, I don't, I don't really think that's appropriate in this community. That's just me. The razor is doing a good job. I believe they have these um, back in stock. And again, I will link everything below. And in, in the uh, affiliate section of the links, if you purchase things there, it does help out the channel. However, I don't ask you to, but if you're going to, just know that I appreciate you. It kind of keeps things going. All right, very, very nice. I'm enjoying this. I'm looking forward to using the splash too. I mean, I'm hoping I don't choke the wife when I do it because she's definitely getting better, but man, she's she's had a rough go. We've, we've just had a rough, um, actually 2020 was very rough on the health front and it sort of continues in 2021. My wife's been sick for about a month solid, but she's getting better, thank goodness. Um, it's been rough, but the one thing that has been uh, sort of consistent and something nice and pleasurable is shaving, and it always has been for me. It's that constant thing that's enjoyable and fun, and that's the way we should keep it enjoyable, fun, and we can have uh, strong opinions and so on, but, you know, we try to do so in a, in a, uh, in a civil way, and that's the key for me. And man, I'm telling you what, enjoyable shave here. Plenty of residual slickness, sl easy for you to say. <laughs> Plenty of residual slickness on the CK6 soap here. Either one you get that, by the way, the, uh, the regular Crown King formula is available. This one is in CK6. It's very nice. And that was just a pleasant trip down uh, memory lane. I really enjoyed it. Again, when you think of this scent, think of a light gourmand vanilla, a little bit of that cream, a little bit of that butterscotch, not strong coffee scent. Don't think you're getting a strong coffee scent. I don't want you to be disappointed, but you do get a little of uh, the boozy nature of um, 
the whiskey as well. Um, it's very nice and uh, I for one am happy with it. And I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you who keep coming back day after day. I really appreciate you. Here's to you. Now, let us rinse and we'll come back with the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and that was a phenomenal shave. We did a warm water rinse. We followed with the PAA alum with dry dock. No stinging whatsoever. Super, super smooth shave. Uh, we followed the alum with a cold water uh, rinse. Uh, man, the Baileys today was a really pleasant trip down uh, memory lane. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was really fun. Again, light, gourmand, vanilla, a little bit of that booze, a little bit of that coffee. Really nice. I appreciate it. Remember, it's only available in March, so get it now if you like. And if you do get it um, and you use it, tag me on Instagram or your Facebook. I'd love to see you uh, using it or see your shave of the day and what have you. Today we use the PAA Ascension Twist Razor, which is adjust adjustable <laughs> by virtue of that twist. Loosing it a little bit makes it a little more efficient. Tighten it makes it less efficient. Had a great go with this today. This is the copper version. Uh, we use the PAA Unbreakable Scuttle with the Atomic Rocket Brush, and you can see there's a mess there. You see that lather on the outside of the bowl where it's warm? The reason it looks that way, that heat will cause the moisture to dissipate. So make sure you got plenty of moisture in your soap or in your lather when you use a, a scuttle, but it was warm, it was nice, excellent. And we're gonna finish things off, finish things off today, tongue twisted, with the PAA Bailey's Irish Coffee Splash. So let's see how we do with this today. And with the PAA splashes, I just simply put my finger over the top and let a little bit out like so. We don't wanna use too much because we don't wanna irritate the wife or asthma. Oh yeah, you can definitely get that in the splash, you get the boozy sort of notes first, and then it sort of comes down to vanilla, or at least that's what I'm getting more of now. Very nice, I liked it, I liked it. So Junior, <laughs> I liked it. I thought it, um, even once lathered, it smelled great to me, so I, I really enjoyed this shave today. Again, I wanna thank Douglas and Fran uh, for bringing this back. I hope they bring it, about, bring it back next year, but folks, there's no guarantee, so get it now if you will, and I wanna say thank you for watching. We'll have another sip of Irish coffee. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.